Today on the channel, it's mail call time, people. We've got two different giveaways to get through and one massive box from Auction Comics Live. Stick around. Unboxing and reviews of sorts, my adventurous ones. I am your host as always, the adventurous one himself, Joseph Michaels. And I gotta tell you right now, this is unbelievable because I have two different giveaway wins here and one massive haul from Auction Comics Live. Whew. Which took me a long time to pay off, by the way. <laughs> So, let's start getting through all this. First off, we got from William Hunt. And I won this during an Auction Comics Live um, giveaway that he was doing. Because it's good that you go to, go to Beta Ray Jim's channel, Auction Comics Live. It always takes place between, I think, on Tuesdays and Friday or Saturday, if I remember correctly. And... He's always got people on there doing giveaways of their own and stuff. So if you take part in the give, take part in things. There's auction, there's live auctions going on and stuff. You can get some great comics. You can also get into some great giveaways as well. Now let's see what we got from William Hunt. It's been a long time since I got this sucker, and I don't remember what I won. <laughs> now, as you can see, professional. Professional is going to strap down like no tomorrow. It's professional. Uh, this would drive mm -mm, PSN Green Hulkster nuts right now. <laughs> Ooh! Now I remember what I won from him. Okay, let's put that down there. Predator number one. And it is the variant edition of Marvel's version of Predator. Ooh, baby. Put that sucker on a slab. Or even uh, better, get one of those uh, plastic um, ones that are like slabs and stuff and uh, put that sucker on display. Take that little tag off of there, too. Because that was actually number six in his giveaways. Okay. Not a bad deal. Let's put this aside. We'll put that with our other stuff. Next up, we got Nick's Kicks and Comics. Now, I won this last Sunday during uh, Sesh with the Durs. Okay, or Durs Sesh. Or sesh. Sesh? With Durs or something like that? I can't remember what Adam calls his channel anymore. His thing on Sunday nights anymore. Anyways, uh, this was from Nick's Comics. Nick's Kicks and Comics. And it's supposed to be a $65 mystery box that was given away. And I won this because I was there during the live and I was actually a part of the live. <laughs> Now that's funny, because <laughs> I was there and everybody started yelling, RIGGED! RIGGED! <laughs> it was fun. Anyways, no oh, totals, huh? Well, we'll save that for last. I don't want to be surprised on it. I want to be surprised. I don't want to know what's in this mystery box of sorts. We want to open this sucker and start finding out good stuff. Whoa! Right off the bat. Hello. Let's put that down there. Let's put that right down there. First off, we've got The Flash, issue number 800, DNA cover, which stands for David Nakayama, by the way. Okay, what else we got? What else? What else? What else? <laughs> Look at that carnage! 
Oh, baby! That's a neat cover! Oh, 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 I'm loving this. I'm loving this. War Machine Legacy, Mar Legacy Marvel, The Punisher. Interesting. I remember when that, when that Punisher was War Machine there for a while. Grim, issue number one. All right, another new series I might have to check out. All right, all right. Secret War, book one of five. Oh, I remember this one. This was nothing like Secret Wars with the Beyonder and stuff like that. This was all during some kind of a covert Black Ops spy mission thing. And uh, it involves Spider-Man, Black Widow, Captain America. And uh, there was a few other ones in it and, and as well and stuff. It was a very interesting story that I'd never read before. And I thought it was very interesting how it turned out. Now... We've gotten through those. Let's see what we got in here. Because according to Nick's Kicks and Comics, almost every bo mystery box he does, doesn't not matter the value and stuff, there's always a comic book slab in there. What? I may have to get in on a little more of these if that's the case. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh, whoa! Look at that! Oh, Iron Fist number one! Oh, that is beautiful! Variant edition. And it is the Frankie'sComics.com. That is so cool! Oh, I'm gonna have to find room on my shelf up there for the where I'm gonna put this sucker. The comic book slab for the the collection. Thank you, Nick's Kicks and Comics. I love this. Now, unlike uh, DJ Links and them, when they get mystery boxes like these, they like to know the value of what they're getting and stuff like that. To me, the value really don't matter. Okay. But we're going to look at the totals thing anyway and see what we got. Wow! So it's a $65 mystery box, but the total for everything is $95. Whoa! That's awesome! That is awesome! That, that, that is so cool. Thank you again, Nick's Kicks and Comics. I, I love this. I love this. Especially the... I'm a, I, I'm a comic book slab junkie right now. So, uh, this, this sucker is going up on my shelf somewhere as soon as I straighten everything out more. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put this aside, this aside, and this aside. Uh, we'll put them back here for now. Now we're getting through Beta Ray Jim's box from Auction Comics Live. And this one took me a long time to pay off. It's, uh, it's over th 300 and some dollars worth in comics. So, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, oh boy, we got two different boxes in here full of books. Two different boxes. Oh lord. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put that down there for now. So we got box two, one. We got box one, box two. Huh, that almost sounds like Independence Day there. Eagle one, box two. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. We got Wolverine, issue number 31. We got Venom, number 10. We got Titans, number one. Now I plan on still getting uh, the other co cover 
that doesn't have any uh, writing on it. We got Hulk issue number 11 DNA cover. We got Darth. We got Star Wars. Uh, I believe this is Crimson Empire issue five, or it could be Hidden Empire number five. I don't know. All I know is I like the cover. Same thing with this one. It's issue number 32, which I believe is Star Wars, or it could be Darth Vader. I don't know. <laughs> we got Amazing Spider-Man issue number 22. DNA cover. For all you Captain Marvel haters out there, and you know who you are, <laughs> we got issue number 9 of Captain Marvel Variant Edition. Beautifully done. We got Venom and Black Cat. We got Wolverine versus taking on Blade. Pretty cool. Not sure what comic that is exactly. I can't remember. I believe this is Gambit and Rogue issue number four. I just want the Gambit. I just want the Rogue cover. I just want the Rogue cover. You know you want it. She's a sassy little southern gal you'll want to love. Steal her from Gambit anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got Star Wars The Mandalorian. Cover, variant cover. I'm not sure which issue number that is. We got Silk, issue number one. We got, I believe this is Amazing Spider-Man, but I don't know which issue. It don't matter. It's, uh, you know, Goblin Queen, uh, or, uh, is it the Goblin Queen? Yeah, I think her name's the Goblin Queen. It's, it, she's a redhead. It's Madeline Pryor. She's a redhead. You know I like my redheads. <laughs> we got X-Men issue number 23 with Jubilee on the cover. Now I believe this is a Spider-Man Miles Morales title. I don't know what issue. All I know is it's a cool cover. We got issue number one of The Avengers. With Scarlet Witch on the cover. Which I believe I got this already without the writing on it and stuff. So I gotta double check that. Miles Morales, issue number three. There's a variant edition of this without the writing on it and stuff. And it sells on eBay right now for $40. Yeah. Very expensive cover. And we got Venom, issue number 15. Paying homage to an amazing Spider-Man cover. If you know which one it is, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I used to have that actual amazing Spider-Man cover. I just don't got it anymore. And once again, for all you Captain Marvel haters out there. <laughs> yes, I'm digging into you people. You know who you are. Uh, we got Captain Marvel issue number 12 here in addition. Yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> we got Amazing Spider-Man issue number 19 DNA cover. Sweet. We got X-Men number 21. We got a reprint of one of the Uncanny X-Men issues. I'm not sure which one that is. But, you know, it's Jean Grey. Dark Phoenix? Dark Phoenix? Don't matter. It's a redhead! Scarlet Witch, issue number one. We got Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 21. Again, there's a DNA cover of this without the writing on it. We got Harley Quinn, black, white, and redder, issue number one. Again, there's also another version of this cover without writing on it. And we got Harley Quinn, issue number 31. Margot Robbie edition of her as Harley Quinn. Nice. Okay, now this batch is done. 
I'm gonna throw all these guys back in the box. Quick, quick, quick. This is the fastest I'm going with a quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Here we go. Just like so. This is about the time somebody starts hitting that, you know, that musical, that circus music stuff. Alright, we'll put that all together back like this. Now some of these comics I'm gonna go through again and stuff like that later on off camera. And I might be doing a small giveaway with some of them. Because uh, there's some comics I bought doubles of by accident. Or one in giveaways. And uh, we're going on to box number two. And we got Spider Gwen as Sandman. I think this is from the Gwenverse issues or something like that. All I know is that I like this cover. Getting that going. We got Strange Academy Finals, issue number two, with Magic on the cover. We got Edge of the Spider-Verse Spinstress cover. Issues, baby. We got Iron Cat, issue number one, which this was a channel members only giveaway during a channel members only giveaway night and stuff. And uh, a friend of mine that was a channel member bought it for me. So that was gifted to me. Mm -hmm. And we got Melissa Fent, issue number two. Something I thought I would get into and stuff, but I decided, nah, I don't want it. And so I might be, it'll be probably going in with the giveaways. Mm -hmm. So we also got Amazing Spider Man, issue number nine. We got Batman Rebirth, issue number one. With lots of Harley Quinns. <laughs> Batman's become overwhelmed. He's probably sitting there going, Curse you, Joker! Mm. We got Batman Arkham City. Still sealed. Love it. War of the Bounty Hunters! Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters! Alpha! Dark Knight's Death... We got... Yeah, Dark Knight's Death Metal, issue number seven. We got Harley Quinn. I believe this is Harley Quinn, issue number 17. DNA cover. Uh, I believe this is an issue of Spider-Gwen or Amazing Spider-Man. I'm not sure. Can't remember. We got Mr. Hot and Sexy himself, Gambit, on the cover. That's what all the women are saying. That's not my quote. That's all the women basically saying. Hot and Sexy Gambit cover. Because when this cover actually came out and stuff, you had a lot of women reviewers going, Hot and Sexy Guy. Yeah, oh, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I actually won that in a giveaway, so... <laughs> We got another Dark Knight's Death Metal number seven, so you know what that means. Ding! Going into the freaking giveaway stuff. We got, I believe this is Spider Gwen. Issue number four, issue number five, or it's a, it's, might be another one, I'm not sure, but it's a issue number five of some kind. We got Dark Knight's Death Metal, issue number six, variant edition. Love that cover. We got Red Son Vamp oh excuse me. Vampirella and Red Sonia, issue number two. Variant edition. Again, love my redheads. So you know that's going in the redheads collection. <laughs> uh, we got a Star Wars cover. I think this is Hidden Empire or one of them. Not sure which one. It takes me a while to figure these things out. Then we got. Amazing Spider-Man issue number 23. We got, I believe this is Miles Morales. Spider-Man issue number four. Nice cover. 
Then we got, let's see. Not sure which cover, issue this one is of Miles Morales, but nice, very nice cover. All right, we've got comics starting to slide here off of one another, so let's, all right, we're gonna take this box off of here and take what's left out of there. There we go. Now, we can get through what's left. We got, I believe this is Miles Morales issue number five with him and Black Cat on the cover. I don't know for certain. I will have to double check that. We got, I believe this is X-Men number 13 with Rogue on the, just Rogue on the cover. We got X Lives of Wolverine number two. This one I won in an actual, in a giveaway pull, and uh, it's autographed by Ryan Stegman. And it's got the official certificate of authenticity. We got X-Men Demon Days issue number one. Go Cosmic Ghost Rider issue number two. Hello! We have a She-Hulk issue number one! And, uh, I didn't buy this. <laughs> so I guess this was a free comic tossed in, or this was a giveaway one I did one, and I didn't know if I won it or not. It was never mentioned in my in the video breakdown that uh, Jim did show me all the comics I had won and stuff. Thanks! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, last but not least, Wolverine issue number 34. So, what'd you think, adventurous ones, of this mail call haul? Did you like the all the stuff that we got? What do you, what do you think of these comics that I'm going to go back through and stuff? And some of them might be going into a small giveaway that we might be doing between now and the 500 subscriber giveaway. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming reviews. There's a ton more coming up in 2024, and you don't want to miss out on anything, including the 500 subscriber giveaway I just mentioned is up and running. If you want to be a part of it, head over to that video, and make sure you follow the rules of the video. So until the next unboxing, until the next review, peace out. May the force be with all of you. And every last one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care if you're still stuck in the snow. Stay warm. Keep your family and loved ones and your loved ones and your pets safe. And uh, until then, God bless. And I'll catch y'all later.